Yo, what's up guys, it's AJ, and today I'll be showing you exactly how to get out of the map on the Big Hero 6 world, but there is a few requirements for this glitch. So the first requirement that you have to do for this glitch is you have to, well, I'm not sure if you have to, but I'm pretty sure you have to finish the game because you unlock Glide in the Keyblade Graveyard and Glide is required. Er, it's not required, but you probably should have it. It makes the glitch extremely more fun, and you can explore more with it. So anyways, what you want to do to start out this glitch is be at this exact part of the map in the Big Hero 6 world. So go to select an area and make sure you're in the city south district at night. It has I'm pretty sure it has to be at night time, so just make sure you go at night. Alright, and it has to be this exact area right here. Make sure you're in the area that I'm in right here. Uh, it has that guy over there. You, you know. Just be in this exact area. So anyways, what you want to do to pretty much get to the location of the bridge, you want to run up this building right here. And if you're grinding with this glitch, maybe grinding levels, trying to get to level 99, you could take out Heartless right here. So this is a good thing, or thing to use to level up. So what you're going to want to do after, you're going to want to climb up this right here, double jump, and then go over to the M building right here. Alright, after you're on here, you can also fight some more Heartless, get up to level 99, and get the trophy for it. So anyways, after you get up to this building, you're going to want to double jump, my game will let me, <laughs> double jump over to this building right here. And after you're here, you're going to want to go exactly into this mini game right here, guys. And I'm pretty sure this is the ingredient mini game. Uh, you can use this to get ingredients for to cook with Remy. So I mean, you can either do this first before you do the glutes, now that you know exactly what this does and what it actually is. Anyways, to do this, you have to jump on those two right there. On your third one, this should activate. Right there, it should be gold. Alright, there we go. Now jump on your fourth one, and then after that, go over to the shining one. Right when you're on it, click start, and then go to exit start or pause whichever one so after that let it load and Sora should be in a flying stance exactly like this if he's not in the stance you're gonna have to go back into the mini game do it as many times as it takes but this is exactly what you have to do to make this glitch actually happen so anyways um just click circle and you'll see what happens circle or B actually because um, if you're on Xbox, it's B, obviously. If you're on PS4, it is Circle. And pretty much, this is what the Kingdom Hearts 3 Big Hero 6 glitch is. You can keep flying for as long as you want. I'm pretty sure there is no limit. I think you can keep flying up for as long as you can, and then your game is probably going to close because you're in a spot that you're obviously not supposed to be in. But just know, this won't affect Sora in any way, this won't affect your stats. It's just a little fun glitch that anyone can do. So, after you get as high as you really want, just click square to block. I think it's X on Xbox. And then Sora will go into his, pretty much, skydiving flying mode, whatever you want to call it. And, obviously you're going to have to wait 30 seconds or so for Sora to go by the ground and you can do this with whatever building you want literally it can be that one that one that one over there just sky up to whatever point in the map you want to glitch through so after that you gotta fly through one of the windows and there you go the glitch is pretty much done you can keep doing this for as many times as you want it's a really weird one um it's kind of interesting though since you can see what's inside of these buildings i mean i know it's not exactly useless or i mean useful for leveling up or anything, but it's fun. You can see it's high buildings, it's cool. So, um, another thing that people keep asking me, how do you get out of this? Like, how do you actually get out of this glitch? So, you can either press X to attack, pretty sure. Oh, well, I guess that doesn't work. Alright, anyways, another way to get out of it. I think, yeah, you can fly like this, and then shot lock. Right after you shot lock, yeah. You shouldn't be glitching through buildings, you should be perfectly fine. And you can get back to whatever you're doing in the Big Hero 6 world, maybe grinding, like I said, anything like that. So, 
If you guys enjoyed this glitch and you want to see more of this glitch, I can show you other things that you guys can do with this glitch. There's a lot of different things and glitches in this game that I can show you. Um, I'm pretty sure in the next patch they will be glitching this, maybe in the Remind DLC. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, please a big five thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We're so close to 700. We will be having a celebration this weekend if we get 700. So look out for a celebration video this weekend. See you guys later. Peace out.